to it. There is a 12-year-old girl in Rhode Island who's changing the game of football with her 2020 vision. Sadly, while she's focused on playing a sport she loves, others are focused on making fun of her for being a girl in a boy's sport. So now she's standing up to her bullies in a big way. Y'all say hi to Quinn and her mom, Christine. Y'all stand up for her. So Quinn, what made you decide to want to try out for the team? Um, since I was three years old, I've been playing football with my dad and my sister and my brother in the backyard. And my, I begged my mom to play, and last year I started to play. Oh my gosh, I love And you were cute as a button as well. <laughs> Just way to go, mom's ovaries. All right. Uh, people, <laughs> people made fun of you, though, for playing football. That must have kind of hurt, right? That sucks when you love to do something and people make fun of you. Yeah. Yeah. They're not the boys on your team, though, right? No. They, they at least they better stand up for y'all. Find them. Give me their names and their numbers <laughs> of their parents because um, they're young. But I mean, Christine, like, was that kind of scary for you? Like, her playing football? Were you excited because she know she loves football? She does, and it actually took me a long time before I allowed her to sign up for football. Um, I signed her up for cheerleading. It didn't go over so well. Um, so finally, last year, I, I did let her sign up. So she's, this was her second season playing, um, wow. and um, she's doing really good, and she loves it. So I want her to follow her dream, whatever it is. That's so you're a great mama. Yeah. So, Quinn, what is your, uh, what's your 2020 vision for your football career? You love it, so you want to keep playing? Yeah, um, this year when I met Dr. Jen Walter, she told me that my game has to speak louder than my gender. And when she said that, I really yeah. wanted to go to all her camps next year. And I'm playing flag football in the spring. And hopefully there's enough players to make a 13U for the Braves. Well, hopefully this helps and get more players on that field. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Quinn, for just being such an awesome woman, young woman. Keep being you. Keep doing you. How are you enjoying the show? You liking the show so far? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, all week we're celebrating our 2020 visions. And earlier, Quinn told us that she's been bullied for playing football on her middle school team. But in this new year, she's refusing to let her haters slow her down. And the haters are about to be real jealous of you, I'm just saying. So, Quinn, I forgot to ask you, um, do you have a favorite NFL player? Rob Gronkowski. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Well, um, Rob Gronkowski, hmm, I've met him before. We were together once. Um, he's the three-time Super Bowl winning tight end for the Patriots, right? Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. yeah. I don't know sports ball, but I've definitely heard of him and worked with him. Um, probably because he's standing behind those doors up there. That's probably why. Come on in, Rob! Hello. Jersey playing right here. Yes. yes. Here you go. Thank you for being so strong. <laughs> so Rob, do you have any like yes. encouraging words for her? Some encouraging words. Yes. Well, first off, you got to take it easy on the boys. I, I saw your film. <laughs> You know, you're stiff, in, stiff arming them and stuff, but, you know, when living out your dreams and when living out your passion, don't ever let anyone else tell you what you can or cannot do, Amen. hands down. Yes. So well, keep doing you, Quinn. So Rob yes. is about to make Quinn's dreams come true, y'all. He wants to elevate her 2020 vision and help her take her football skills to the next level by mentoring her for a whole year. Yes. <laughs> She just looked at her mom and she's like, oh my gosh. Like, she's like, have a seat. Come on over. You can sit right beside me. This is Jenna. Nice to meet you. You too. I feel like every time I see you, I just feel more and more like an Oompa Loompa. You are so tall. Me too. So we all remembered you played my security guard when I hosted the billboards. You were hilarious. Nobody knew but my appendix, and then I was rushed to the hospital. It was like horrible. But you were so kind. You were so funny. Yes. Do you like doing stuff like that? Yes, I love doing stuff like that. You know, I just got out of the game of football. So you know, you you know, as a football player, you want to be you know, part of the music industry and stuff while you're playing and vice versa. So it was my opportunity to go to like a, a billboards award and yeah. you were hosting, we got to work together, but I was mind boggled 
with how much you were doing at one time. It, it was insane. You were hosting, you were talking over there, you were singing a song. I was like, this is incredible. Like, Kelly, you are talented. Yeah, you oh, my yes. God, yes. thank you. Nailed that. You were yeah. too, though. You nailed it. You nailed, nailed it. it. But I'm, it was unbelievable. But in defensive, I mean, like, I thought, that's why I thought you were amazing, because I grew up being on stage and doing stuff like this as a kid, so I'm, I'm very comfortable in that environment. But to come from, like, the, another world and be like, yeah, this is normal. Like that's 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 how I feel about acting. I'm yes. like, Bleh. I just want to barf. I just, it makes me so nervous. But so, what do you have planned for the Super Bowl this year? I hear you have something cool going on. Yes, I do. I will be hosting a music festival actually. Wow. And we have uh, a lot of big performers. We got Diplo. We got Rick oh, Ross wow. playing. We got oh, Flo Rider playing. So we got good. DJ Carnage. We got my boy uh, DJ Blau playing. Wow. Uh, and, oh, and Cascade, he's headlining too. And you know, I'm hosting it. I'm not really sure what I'm doing there yet. You're but I know they'll great. be performing. I mean, I just gotta show up and probably dance, do what I do, bring yeah. the energy, and that, yeah. that's what I gotta do. I you love know? That. Bring the energy. You know why? I think you were you are really great on the billboards and you're gonna be really great at this. It's really you just have to find people that are comfortable in their skin yeah. and comfortable being themselves in front of people. Yes. And you're super comfortable with yourself. I think yes, that's the key. That is true. That is yeah. key. Wow. Like no matter what that anybody says, you're like, nah, I'm cool, I'm rocking this. You can like it or not. Yes. Um, but yeah. but you also, now that you're not playing, you you're working with a, a few companies. What what's what, what are you what are you? Uh, doing yes, now? Um, I am an owner of of Snow Teeth Whitening Kit, and now wow. we have partnered up with Bite. I uh, straighten that. out your teeth. So who wouldn't want straightened teeth while whitening your teeth at the same time? So yeah. um, it's fantastic. It's going to be great. So we partnered up with Bite, yeah. and it's going to be fantastic. It's, oh, it's that's amazing. Hey, a smile you know? can change everything. That. You know, yeah. after, you know, I, I was getting hit all over. My teeth were going this way. One was going that yeah. way. I'm walking around like this. I, right. you know, I, I had to straighten them back out. For right. Right. You know, make them pearl people, white too. It'll change the people's personality. Yes. They feel like they can't smile because they don't like their smile. I know plenty of friends that either have like stains or something has happened, and they and it changes their personality yeah. when they when yeah. When and they then they talk like this sometimes too. And yeah. Stuff. I'm like, who cares? Just yeah. be you. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Okay. Well, Rob wants everyone to have their brightest smile in 2020, so he's sending everyone in my audience home with his bite and snow. Teeth kids, you all get one. You get one. You get one. You get one. You get one. Straight. All right, y'all. Straight. No some light. You all get one. You all get one. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.